Hey VC, it's me Roger back with yet another video coming to you from a different part of the house. Thought I'd change it up a little bit. Just got home from a record show here in town. They happen twice a year. And compared to Birmingham, it's a teeny tiny show. Maybe a dozen vendors. Um, and so, uh, you know, you know how I am. Uh, I, I managed to find some things. And uh, I thought before I dove into cleaning and spinning them, I'd just come on and show them. Some cool stuff here. Uh, let's start with this. Uh, Max Roach, Deeds Not Words. I think this is a reissue on Riverside. Uh, it appears to be maybe a 70s reissue. Uh, classic record. Um, with uh, Max Roach on drums, Booker Little on trumpet, George Coleman on tenor sax, Ray Draper on tuba, and Art Davis on bass. Um, yeah, it's on this label, which does not appear to be original to me, but uh, I don't know. It's a good price, so I thought, yeah, it's a nice condition. Can't go wrong with Max Roach, right? Um... Donald Bird, Fancy Free on Blue Note from 1969. Uh, still in some nasty, nasty shrink wrap. That's, that's going to be the first thing to go. Uh, but yeah, it uh, appears to be an original on the uh, Deep Groove Blue and White label. Yeah, this should be kind of funky with uh, Duke Pearson playing electric piano. And uh, who else is on here? Uh, Frank Foster on tenor, Lou Tobacco on flute, Julian Priester on trombone, Duke Pearson on electric piano, Roland Wilson bass, Jimmy Ponder guitar, Joe Chambers drums, Matt Bettis percussion, and John Roberts, John Robinson percussion. Yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a spin. This is a cool find. I really don't know what this is going to be like, but, you know, a library record for like four bucks, I just thought, hell, why not? Uh, Omni Music. New Horizons, Futuristic, and Space Backgrounds. Um, and these descriptions here just made it seem like, uh, I mean, for four bucks, how could you go wrong? Library music is cool. And this was clearly uh, used for production at some point, perhaps. Yeah, pretty cool find. Uh, this is a cool, cheap find. Um, Dick Hyman's Moog, the Electric elect Eclectics of Dick Hyman on command. Uh, this is from 1969, I believe. Uh, so. Really nice copy of it, and it was dirt cheap, and so I figured, you know. I love those old Moog records. Moog, Moog, Moog. I've always said Moog. I know that's wrong, but... This is a cool find, too. Um, French pressing of this uh, Milton Nascimento record, which I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce. Casador de Mim. Yeah, Milton. On um, Barclay. From, uh, when is this from? 1985. Beautiful. Got a good price on this. I've been looking for this for a while. Um, Sundays did a reissue of it, um, but I, I've been looking for an original. Uh, this is Blue Cheers. Uh, what's it called? Outside Inside, I think. Their second record. The cover's not in the best shape, but it is an original on Phillips from 1968. It opens up like this. And the vinyl's in pretty good shape, so, yeah. I bargained with the guy and got a good price. Really cool. Here's a record I've seen shown in the VC. I'm really not sure what it's going to sound like. Uh, Prague, I guess. Man, slow motion. This is on United Artists from 1974. Yeah, I mean, great cover. I love the Mad Magazine font there. I just know I'm going to like this. 
Another thing I've seen in the VC, I know Derek's shown this before, and I've, and I've seen it around, but I, I finally found a very clean copy for a very cheap price. String-driven thing. This is from 1972 on Charisma. Let's get that. That's a pretty cool cover. I'm not sure what this is again. I think like Prague, Folky Prague maybe, UK stuff. And it's on the, uh, it still had the insert, the lyric insert, which is kind of cool. Yeah, the famous Charisma label. Yeah, that was a that was a nice find. All right, this one uh, I traded for. Uh, I know this guy who is a dealer, and I see him at the record stores all the time, and uh, so we're friendly. And uh, he wanted a copy of my LP, and so I brought him one. And then you know he said, you know, pick a record. Uh, so I have a U.S. pressing of this, but this is a. UK original pressing of Deep Purple's Fireball on Harvest uh, with the gatefold the textured cover uh, which is in really pretty nice shape considering how old this is 1971 I think and it's on the wonderful Harvest label that seemed like a fair trade to me yeah I, I like Deep Purple a lot in a similar vein, uh, I have a UK copy of this, um, but I wanted a US original of uh, Spirits. This is their third album, I think, The Family That Plays Together. So this is a US original on Ode with the gatefold. Yeah, I mean, you know, my understanding is country of origin is really what you're looking for, at least in terms of sound quality. Um, and that UK pressing sounded kind of weird. Um, I'm interested to compare it to this U.S. original. Um, but yeah, the U.K. did not come with the gatefold either, so that was just another reason to pick this up. And finally, one more. Oh, this is going to be my shortest video ever. <laughs> uh, another VC thing, uh, I think Zach has talked about these guys. Uh, ben Costello, maybe. Uh, Horse Lips. Here's Dance Hall Sweethearts on RCA from 1974. Irish band, right? Um, I have one of their later records. I don't love it, but um, yeah, you know, hard rock, but with some folky touches. You know, there's bod runs and tin whistles and banjos and stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to check this out. Horse lips. Oh, wait, one more thing. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't really spend all that much money at the record show, so I thought, I remembered there was this 7 inch <laughs> at Grimey's that I passed on the last time I was there, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go get it because it's pretty rare. Um, this is Greedy Politi's uh, Peel Session. It's like virtually, like the, it's just a mimeographed sleeve. It's on Rough Trade. Um, yeah, you know, the early Screedy Politi is very different from the you know, pop stuff that they later found massive success with. Uh, very post-punk, I guess. Um, edgy, edgy political kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so it was still there, so I, I grabbed it. All right, that's my haul. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Cheers, everybody. I'll be back soon. Take care.